Hey and welcome to this video. So you're about to see me, Mavs, from Clamp Digital Agency talking about website builders. And I'm gonna talk you through how to build a website for beginners from my perspective as a digital designer here with Gift Gap Academy. So let's get to it. On the Clamp Digital Agency team, I am a creative director, but also I oversee UX, UI design. That means user experience and user interface design. That means I kind of look at websites and apps and look at the interface and kind of place things on a page and make things look pretty and figure out where your close button and your open button and all these different things to go on your website. But when you're creating a website from scratch and you don't really have that kind of knowledge behind the way things should flow, you've got kind of these easier options and they are website builders. So you've got Wix, Squarespace, Webflow, and a heap of other kind of website builders that are really, really good. Some more e-commerce based and some kind of more blog based. I feel like these three are really similar. And I think a lot of website builders work in a similar process where you kind of, you can buy your domain on there or you can already like purchase a domain and set that up. Or, and then you go through the process of um, the monthly subscription and setting things up and putting in the payment. So they're all really cheap, these three options, Wix, Squarespace and Webflow. Squarespace, I feel like, is really easy to use, really easy user interface. So it's really easy for a beginner to come on and create their own website. You can add your images, you can add your text, all your titles and put really cool content into your website and really just have it functioning and up and running within a day if you really needed it to. I think why I feel like it's the simplest one is because there's not kind of a lot of thought that needs to be put into the animation, the content, the, and kind of you don't have to be as creative as you might need to be with Wix and as you could be with Wix and Webflow. With Wix, you can really kind of get into the creativity and that's why I feel I feel like there's a kind of a difference between the two. Wix, you can drag and drop, so you can add as much content as you want and place it anywhere. You can animate it. You can really do some really cool effects that you would get if you were, you know, actually developing that website and putting all this code in and all these kind of JavaScripts and using all these languages that you won't understand if you're a beginner and you've never really built a website in your life before. That is where it differs a lot from your Squarespace. When it comes to Webflow now, Webflow is really creative like Wix as well and it's really similar in, in that kind of facet where you can do a lot of really cool things, really cool animation, really cool features. They've got kind of this library of different um, people who've done amazing Webflow websites. People who use Webflow have created them already and you can use that content and adopt it onto your own website. So it's really kind of like a community, it's really engaging. You can learn really well on there because they've got amazing video tutorials to talk you through the whole process. It's just really kind of really responsive. So your desktop, your iPad, your mobile, all the different versions look really clean, really neat, and it just does everything as the way it should. You've kind of got this box layout as well where all the content is spaced out really nicely on your page so you get a really good feel for what design should be and you get this really nice interface without the kind of thought that a UX UI designer would put into your website so it's really good for beginners they are all really good for a different reason so it's entirely up to you which kind of website builder that you do pick but I think these are kind of the kind of easier options and the kind of entry level options that you can get into um you can definitely tweak the code within these websites, but that's more for someone who isn't a newbie when it comes to creating their own website, or it could be for someone who is a newbie within the development world, who just wants to kind of play with their skills and really kind of understand how to like tweak their own website and add really cool features. Thanks GeekGuff Academy for spending time with me to learn how to build a website. Make sure to share your work on the GeekGuff social channels and let us know how you go. Happy building.